interested uh, my name is uh, Brian Omondi I'm a student here at Kenyatta University taking pharmacy and alternative medicine yeah so today I'm here representing two organizations that is uh, KUIPRC Kenyatta University Young Pharma Research Club here in KU and then I'm standing in also for Solving Resistance that is an organization in uh, University of Nairobi working in close association with the NUPSA to help mitigate the spread of AMR. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Right. Young farmer and by young farmer we mean young pharmacists, right? Yeah, yeah. So asidhani ni wakulima. So mashanga wakulima wamepiga nuku. Young farmer ya PH. Yeah, young yeah. farmer ya PH. Yeah. Young farmer. Uh, mm -hmm. Short for pharmacist, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Next gentleman. Uh, thank you so much Richard. My name is Ashine Olomnyaki Manuel. I am a pharmacy student in Kenyatta University. I serve as the chairperson of the Kenyatta University Young Pharma Research Club. And I'm just happy to have uh, you hosting us on this show to create awareness on antimicrobial resistance. Uh -huh. So it's a great opportunity and I'm excited. Excited to have you guys here as well. Thank you very much for creating time and for the activities of last week, which we have uh, been able to, you know, give a bit of FOMO to those who missed out. Images which you can still see on the screen. Uh, what happened during the Anti-Microbial Awareness Week happened at uh, Kenyatta University. Maybe you let us in um, a bit there on... Um, on what happened last week, the events of last week, how did that go down, and what is the outcome of it? Uh, thank you so much. Um, so we had a very successful World Antimicrobial Awareness Week, which was marked from 18th to 24th November, and uh, Tulimaliza Shuguli on Sunday, that is uh, just a few days ago. So starting from Monday last week, we had a few webinar sessions. Uh, we conducted them via Zoom in association with uh, the Tanzania uh, Pharmacy Students Association and uh, the Makerere University Pharmacy Students Association together with NUPSA and uh, Solving Resistance. Also, we had uh, the Veterinary Medicine uh, Students Association from the University of Nairobi. And all these we did in conjunction with uh, KUIPRC. So uh, on Monday, we had a webinar. And on Tuesday, we had a Twitter session. And then on Wednesday, we had our champions training. That is for the people who got dispatched on uh, Friday to go and educate the public about antimicrobial resistance. So Thursday, we took a break. And then on uh, Friday, we did the actual work, which started from the Kenyatta National Hospital uh, through Toy and Kenyatta Markets. And then we ended at uh, the Kenya Medical Training College. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was a very successful event and uh, I think we made a very big impact to society and contributed positively to the use of our antimicrobials. All right. Yes, yes. And the use of our anti... I've been really struggling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. sure I'd fail orals. At yeah, <laughs> it's, it's understandable. It's yeah. understandable. Very <laughs> medical terms. Right. And yeah. Antimicrobial yeah. resistance. Mm -hmm. Omundi Brian, yes. welcome to the show once more. Thank you. Um, AMR, antimicrobial resistance, is now being considered a global health threat. Mm -hmm. Why is that so? And we, before we get even to why that's considered a global health threat, is what is what exactly is this word which I'm struggling uh, to pronounce? And I'm sure people at home, Pia Wana Sanga, hey, Leo Gesha, what is the antimicrobial ni gani tena? Yes, yes. So, antimicrobial resistance. Antimicrobial. Yeah, antimicrobial resistance. Yeah, this is where the normal microorganisms that include bacteria, the viruses, the fungi, the parasites, now decide to fail to respond to the medications we have, mm. yeah, making them resist, uh, making them uh, difficult to treat, and uh, the treatment becomes expensive. Mm. They also uh, lead to prolongation of hospital stays. Yeah, mm, right. now we are using a lot of uh, new drugs which are very expensive to try to treat some of these organisms because uh, the normal drugs that we have now cannot be used to treat them. Okay, they're yeah. taking it as lunch. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Open, uh, antibiotic, <laughs> the bacteria says, you know, um, yeah, yeah. a scrumptious meal has arrived. Yeah. Resistance, that's how, it's, that's how it looks like. Yeah. So we need to create yeah, awareness. new medicine. Yeah, we mm -hmm. need to create new medicine mm -hmm. to help us combat this resistance. And uh, if you look at in Kenya, around less than 50% of the Kenyan population are actually aware of the effects of this AMR. Mm -hmm. So this is something that we need to 
take part in creating awareness okay. and educating the public. All right. Yeah. So when you're saying the effects, how mm -hmm. does how do this look like the effects of uh, this kind of resistance? Yeah. So maybe in, on that I'll just give a a, a brief statistic example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you look at in Kenya, WHO documents that uh, around 1,500 new cases of multi-drug resistant TB mm -hmm. develop each year. So we detect 1,500 cases of multi-drug resistant TB. Mm. You know, when I say multi-drug resistance, uh, I mean we have this, you have TB, and the normal drugs that you have to treat, mm. they are not functioning. Mm. Yeah. As you could say. As you could say. D. And then if, if you also look at UTIs, right now around 70% of uh, UTIs caused by E. coli, mm -hmm. they are now resistant to medication. Wow. Yeah. And it goes all the way to even causing death. In 2019, WHO documented that around 1.27 million deaths mm -hmm. occurred worldwide due to AMR. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is a great challenge that we need to take part to educate the public. Right. Yeah. I was having a look at uh, this, um, Emmanuel. Yes. And yes. Um, I saw the word superbugs. Yeah. Are they UTIs and whatnot? The oh, superbugs? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so superbugs are uh, uh, bacteria that have mutated and uh, developed resistance against so many forms okay. of drugs, and uh, they cannot be actually treated. Mm -hmm. An example of the superbug is uh, MRSA. That is a very technical medical term. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus. Wow. And uh, the, f the furniture almost floated here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spell. Yes, yes, yes. We also have CRE, okay. uh, which is carbapenem resistant uh, enterobacteria. But uh, these things uh, actually don't respond to bacteria and uh, the two treatment by yeah, using drugs so it's a very big challenge and superbugs need to be addressed okay. because uh, if they end up spreading mm -hmm. uh, to talk on a very big challenge okay. as the medical professionals and also the public will suffer. Okay. Yes. yes. So for it to be a superbug it means it's yes, completely yes. refused. Yeah, um, for it to be a superbug haiwezi kwa kana ikatibiwa so mm. Yes, yes, was COVID-19 yeah. a superbug? No, no, not really. Oh, oh, not really. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that does respond. Yeah. Which was going to be my next question because, okay. you know, uh, they said COVID-19 moved from bats mm. to um, human beings. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, someone mm. ate something yeah. in Wuhan, China, yeah. or something happened in a lab, mm. whichever happened. Yeah. Um, can this uh, move from animals to human beings? Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Actually, uh, we, we go back to food chains mm -hmm. uh, very many times when it comes to transmission mm -hmm. of uh, many diseases. And uh, one example, the antimicrobial resistance. Mm -hmm. So to kinder back to the food chain, we get that uh, Tuneza actually, we can actually contract antimicrobial resistance from mm -hmm. animals. Okay. Mtu uh, wakikula chakula ambayo ikona the antimicrobial resistant bacteria and as I end up with uh, antimicrobial resistance. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even uh, ukiwa na your pets pale nyumbani, they can actually transmit uh, antimicrobial resistance to you. Mm -hmm. uh, kwa hivyo, tunafaa kuzi keep clean pia and uh, ii na bring a uh, one health approach. Okay. Uh, kwa sababu uh, both humans and animals mm -hmm. are involved in antimicrobial resistance. Well, so I understand that now awareness is not just about how to treat this resistance, also yes. to prevent us from you know, getting to that level yeah, yeah. Um, where you now have that AMR and, you know, it's difficult for you to get the treatment. Yeah. Maybe can I add something on uh, COVID-19 still? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's important also to mention that uh, the virus co that caused COVID-19, mm -hmm. that virus is a common virus and it's a, it has been there for a very long time. Yeah. Now, the specific strain that caused COVID-19, now that's the one that was uh, introduced. But mm. that virus, it's the same virus that causes common cold. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. I see. So when we say that, you know, the bacteria has become resistant, uh, now that you've picked it up, let me uh, okay, throw sir. this to you. Um, when we say the bacteria has become resistant, right? So which means in Mekata Kutibika, you take your biotics, your antibiotics, your antiviral treatment. Uh, I, it's lunch for it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That paints a very scary scenario for me. Does it mean that it's over if I get to a point where I've uh, contracted, you know, I have, uh, basically I have AMR 
now uh, medicine will not respond to me does it mean it's the end of the road for me or how yeah. does it look like so i think it's not the end of the road mm. yeah because there there's development of new technologies for example we uh, recently we've been utilizing nanotechnology in treatment and also bacteriophages in a treating resistant strain so mm. when i say bacteriophages these are viruses that affect bacteria specifically so if you have the resistant strain of bacteria mm -hmm. now we can introduce a virus in the body that is selective to that bacteria mm -hmm. yeah so that will help to the treatment right yeah and hopefully the new virus does not also yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> become from yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't happen though right mm, yeah. because there's uh, a level of research that goes into it before mm -hmm. of course mm -hmm. being uh, suggested as treatment one health approach you just mentioned one health approach could mm -hmm. you maybe expand a bit on to that and how this ties into uh, this message on AMR. okay so one one health approach basically is a interdisciplinary collaboration between different sectors of uh, the society mm -hmm. to come to come together and help miti mitigate the spread of AMR. Mm -hmm. so this includes uh, effort from the human beings mm -hmm. the agricultural sector environment sector yeah so if we come in collaboration and uh, try to prevent the spread mm -hmm. yeah we'll actually win this war okay. yeah so for example when i speak of humans uh we need to uh, try to reduce the misuse and overuse of anti uh, antibiotics okay yeah so for example a common example is uh when you have common cold most of the population usually usually use um, uh, amoxicillin mm -hmm. and this is a drug that is used to treat viral infection uh antibiotic uh bacterial infection mm -hmm. and common cold is caused by a viral infection now if you look at that scenario you are actually misusing that antibiotic mm -hmm. yeah okay. and also another example is uh maybe uh you you unasikia tumbo inakuma and then you go for metronidazole which is flagin mm -hmm. yeah you are not tested you don't know what you have and you are just using it yeah so over that the is counter. Yeah, over yes, the counter yes. over the counter medication mm -hmm. unregulated over the counter medication okay yeah that is uh, one of the ways that uh uh, contribute to the spread of AMR. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, humans can help by reducing the misuse and overuse of antibiotics uh, to contribute to this One Health approach. Mm -hmm. Now, when you talk, uh, when you talk about the environment, uh, we can have people uh, managing their waste well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for example, pharmaceutical companies, uh, they can dump a waste that are full of antibiotics. Uh, to our water systems and uh, this water system can also get their way to through recycling to humans and you see that is uh, one way that uh in a in a in the laser the spread of these antibiotics right so when pharmaceutical companies come also and uh, contribute by waste management they manage their waste well mm -hmm. yeah when you look at the agricultural sector the the farmers use antibiotics as a uh, growth promoters mm -hmm. yeah they give their animals antibiotic uh, so that they can improve their yields mm -hmm. yeah so mm -hmm. there also they can do that by stopping that mm -hmm. or using probiotics okay yeah or oh, there's uh, probiotics yeah there's probiotic okay yeah now, before we get to probiotics i just had something there just to make sure i got it correct the overuse and misuse of mm -hmm. antibiotics so misuse i understand which mm -hmm. means you get medication for mesquia a headache mm -hmm. and i get whatever you just prescribe it for yourself because of what you think uh, the history of treatment looks like or yeah. what you've had from someone and mm -hmm. uh, to lise tumbo um that is misuse the overuse i understand is you know over indulging in the yeah. antibiotics so kila saka kichwa una pop something una pop something does this mean that uh, you know i'm treating the bacteria to a point that you call like ah you know kama ile ashule unapigwa hadi sasa msikie is that the same case yeah it's the same case ah okay when you oh. overuse antibiotics mm. you know uh is it bacteria they have mechanisms by which these drugs zinaweza function to this bacteria mm -hmm. now when you overuse these antibiotics now those mechanisms uh, start failing oh yes yeah. nice. okay i see yeah so too. for example mm -hmm. uh, the bacteria usually engulfs the drug mm -hmm. and then the drug shaingia kwa bacteria so say the drug inaweza affect the bacteria mm -hmm. now if you overuse the bacteria can decide to have efflux pumps so say in a pump out the drug oh yeah nice. so the drug will not function Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Hmm, I see. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Um things which I didn't get to know in high school. Ni kwa nasoma acha ba insect. I will go. We go na This is the day that the Lord has made. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we have been 
also throwing a couple of scientific words. So the, my my main work here as well is to regulate mm-hmm. uh, our use of scientific terms and mm-hmm. also try and make people understand yeah, the yeah. terms that we are using. So we've mentioned antibiotic, antiviral, okay. antimicrobial or bio, uh, antimicrobial. Uh, let's help us, yeah, now Emmanuel, to s- uh, put the, these things into a structure where someone can understand. Antibiotic ni gani, so amerusha tena probiotic, watu wa shangai zi ni gani. Really, really. Kwa next ni another term, which is, let's uh, finish that structure and then I move on to a few other questions. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. thank you so much. Uh, so, uh, easy classes zote, the antibiotics, the antifungals, the antivirals, and the antiparasitic agents actually fall under antimicrobial agents. Okay. Eh, kwa anti antimicrobials ni antibiotics, ni antivirals, ni anti eh, fungals na ni antiparasitics. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. So it's under one family. Yes, yes, under okay. the antimicrobials. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it kama antimicrobials ndo zinatumika ku treat uh, infections that are caused by either bacteria, mm-hmm. by fungi, by parasitic infections and by viruses. Okay. Eh, kwa hivyo tuki get specific hapo kwa antivirals ni drugs zenye zinatumika ku treat viral infections. Mm-hmm. Kitu kama eh, a very common eh, viral infection ni flu ama the common cold. Mm-hmm. Eh, eh, but uh, e ni one of the major contributing factors to antimicrobial resistance actually. Mm-hmm. Na ni kwa sababu watu wana misuse vitu kama amoxicillin. Mm-hmm. Eh, ukiwa na homa haufai kuitibu because whether you do something or you don't homa itaisha eh, homa itaisha within 7 days mm-hmm. so hakuna haja ya kujisumbua mm-hmm. kujaribu kutibu homa when you can just wait, when you can just yeah. wait for 7 days okay mm-hmm. yeah ni mm-hmm. lenye we lead very busy lifestyles so mtu ana prefer ku pona haraka so msi hizi toka kwa nyumba na and i get back to their business eh <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, it's a major contributing factor and it's very worrying yeah mm-hmm. uh, but uh, then the question becomes why is it sold in the pharmacy if okay. uh, you know if i can just wait uh yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, why is it sold in the yes, pharmacy yes why is it still sold in the first place uh, so apo uh, i'll point the failure mm-hmm. of uh, the healthcare professionals kwa sababu pia wana contribute mm-hmm. in that mtu akikuja hapo hivi si tamuuliza sana anataka mzisili naende afanye nini yeah so the pharmacist and especially pharmaceutical technologist uh, wanna prescribe the drugs any mm. uh, without any regulation mm. Wevo, that's a major contributing factor okay yeah, and yeah. also maybe i talked about unregulated mm. mm-hmm. yeah no there are no regulations in place mm-hmm. to enable uh, proper selling of these antibiotics mm. and also uh is the pharmacists am um, farm techs is my chemists those are business people yeah, yeah so yeah. maybe on a way they profit na the, the risks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Raka, raka. Yeah, yeah. Give me my money. And, yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. Okay. Is it now, you know, maybe we'll do that call out to the ministry and the relevant authorities yeah. a bit later on. You know, what can be done in terms of policy and regulations mm-hmm. to ensure also that we have stricter measures in yeah. how people are, you know, accessing this uh, medicine. But coming back to you, yes, um, yes. on uh, again prescriptions okay. my antibiotic dose so i've gone to hospital um i have a uti uh, god forbid yeah. and then i received my antibiotics nimefika mali nasikia eh nishapona i no longer feel the pain i don't have the symptoms ni ni nini um you know ni achi hapo uh, does it mean kuna bacteria fulani zilikuwa kwa kona zimetulia zinangoja or have i healed how does this also come into play in uh, you know increasing this resistance if in okay uh, mm-hmm. to ha- to tackle that eh, ni tanza na ku remind the audience that eh, you actually have to finish your antibiotic dose anytime you na pewa antibiotics you prescribe your antibiotics na a medical practitioner ensure that you maliza your antibiotic dose kwa sababu usipo i like to give this example uh tunapeananga dawa ndo to fight the infection mm-hmm. yeah so ukipea dawa you actually fighting the infection but eh mtu atawa kikupiga you have a tendency to kick back mm-hmm. eh kwa hivyo uh, inafikanga mahali yenye ume hit bacteria ume hit bacteria but sasa hujamaliza dose kui 
Kenyo ndio eh ndio sasa imejaa yeah so you <laughs> so you na jam eh mm-hmm. yeah yeah so uje you knock out and, eh, completely mm-hmm. eh, so when you will put ni kuna tu bacteria zenye hazija kufa na zenye mm-hmm. ziko zimetulia mali hazija fikiwa mm-hmm. so if you stop maybe nimekupea amoxicillin for a dose ya 5 days mm-hmm. na umekunywa and uh, after 3 days unisikia vizuri mm-hmm. so for the 2 days unaamua eh hey, manze kumeza hizi tablets ni a big ni a big challenge mm-hmm. even na eh, chukua na yeah, yeah. so ukifanya hivyo uh, kuna hizo bacteria zenye hazija kuwa knocked out na mm-hmm. with time zita zita gain back eh, their strength mm. na zitakuja zikiwa resistant mm-hmm. to amoxicillin so next time ukikuja mm-hmm. i will give you a dose ya 10 days mm. eh, i will give you a dose ya 10 days ama ni kuongeze more drugs right yeah. i've seen it happen even with uh, especially tuberculosis yes, where, um, yes. i think it's a, yeah. an eight month mm. long mm-hmm. treatment process and i've mm-hmm. seen a case where a patient um, skipped a couple of days actually mm-hmm. they pretended to have pre- to have uh, completed the whole treatment yes, yes. but kumbe in the 6th 5th month they had mm-hmm. skipped a week yeah. so wakafika mwisho checked by the doctor and told i know you didn't really uh, you know do all your meds if you're being honest yes, yes. um but we now have to do this again for 6 mm-hmm. months mm-hmm. so another prescription for another 6 months and i think those are the effects which people should be aware of yeah. uh, if you're not completing your dosage you're only lengthening um the treatment process which uh, becomes a bit difficult again in handling um Sama na Toma na Kaivia na Uliza mm-hmm. au scientist wenu si watengeneze drug nyingine against that. Ah, <laughs> ah, 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 ah yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Think new pills against that resistance, treat the resistance okay. need to be called antibiotics. Why? Um, How is that hard or easy? It's very difficult. Uh, uh-huh. Nilipenda when you introduce the show and you actually mentioned that uh, it was the fortuitous events za Alexander Fleming ai pale kwa laboratory yake mm-hmm. zenye zilifanya kuwe na what i like to regard as the greatest magic yeah. uh, in medicine and that is uh, the development of the first antibiotic that was mm. penicillin mm. Uh, uh, kwa hivyo i think uh, development ya novel uh, medicines for treatment ya uh, these antimicrobial resistant strains mm. ni a big challenge ni a very big challenge kwa sababu when you look back I think it's 12 years ago mm-hmm. no, the last antibiotic uh, ili develop you mm-hmm. and so see kitu raisi kwa sababu the drug development process ni something that takes years mm-hmm. and it has uh, for just one drug unaweza pata um invest like 2 billion dollars mm-hmm. which is something in, uh, it's very expensive mm-hmm. uh, kwa hivyo uh, people tend to ama the sponsors wana tend to go for short term projects mm. um, to anataka tu kitu yenye inaweza develop your haraka so that they can make uh, profits mm. eh, kwa hivyo hii ni kitu yenye ina contribute you na so many factors, so many factors yeah, yeah including yeah. finances mm-hmm. na eh, like what to accept to get into that long process okay. the development of new uh, agents 12 years that's a long time yes yes 2012 yeah. Mm, mm. Wow, mm. 2012 is yeah. the last time. Okay. Um let's get to answer a very important question here. Mm-hmm. And uh, I am throwing it to you uh, Omondi Brand mm-hmm. which is ndajuaje ni kona hiyo resistance. Um also I just wanted to add on to his point which is um, maybe you will also develop resistance against the new drug which is supposed to treat your resistance yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's another long cycle which you're you know throwing yourself into omondi the question here is how do i know i have developed resistance so how to know mm. um ukiwa na an infection sequence of the signs and symptoms mm. so basically if you are given any drug those signs na umemaliza the regimen you should start feeling better mm-hmm. now you get that ukiwa na resistance unapewa dawa unamaliza the dose and then there is no change. Mm. Yeah, ukienda okay. kwa lab wamepima wamepata kuna this strain of bacteria ama kuna hii infection and then unapewa the treatment regimen unazitumia perfectly lakini haupati any improvement. Okay. Yeah. Kuna vaccination naweza pigwa mapema mapema tu hii story. Hiyo <laughs> 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 ni build resistance. Vaccination kuna vaccination for some but not all. Okay. Yeah. All right. So for example, ukiangalia mostly vaccination tunatumia for viruses. Ingalia mm-hmm. the hepatitis kuna vaccination hepatitis B and then kuna pia vex, vaccination ya human papilloma mm-hmm. virus. Hiyo ni nyana kwa cervical cancer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so vaccination mostly zico but for Uh, anti uh, for bacteria or oh, i don't think kama ziko mingi hivyo yeah mm. than the viruses 
All right. I'm now going to read a couple of uh, messages which you've received online, and then I come back to you to just answer one last question each and a parting shot for the same to just build up that awareness. But I had one question before I read the feedback. Uh, this is from me and my team, which is on the ear, Hapa. Um, yeah. uh, Naniki finya finya ma lemon ma 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 herbs nini yake le ma alivi njifunike na blanketi 18 hours straight. Yes, yes. Resist time. Mm -hmm. Is that something that can work? Any of you who can handle yeah, that? So me, I think uh, <laughs> mostly yeah, yeah, yeah. kamu kona homa. Yeah. Kamu kona homa na kona an alternative nearest to me and used to me antibiotic. Ah, yeah. Mm. Itakuwa missing antibiotic. Okay. Yeah. But so. Sijui ni kona. HIV, <laughs> oh, uh, you, yeah, you are <laughs> <laughs> That cannot work. Yeah, that cannot work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Akuna remedies or lies and yesin as I replace natural remedies. Okay. But ziko in development, we can gala say pharmacognosy, kuna research in yemikoa, mepeliko pharmacognosy. And uh, very soon, adi can gala the more drugs, uh, drugs in konazo, zimetoka from plants. Okay. Yeah, so maybe the problem with the natural regimen, ni akuna standardization. So we can't actually know, and we can't tell the right dose you should take. Oh, yeah, right. okay. but can these drugs in Konayo, some of them, these uh, the active ingredient imetoka from plants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Getting that feedback, coming back, the one question that I want each of you to answer uh, for all maniac, it's um, what will happen if you know this continues to be a rising case in the future? Uh, any resistance in lake will be up, so that we also paint a picture. And then you can give a parting shot on awareness. And then for Omoni brand, we'll handle any positive uh, technological advancements or in research, um, including maybe what you're doing at the club. Mm -hmm. I think at that point, you can also uh, you know, tell other university students on what your club is about. And uh, if that's something that's open for them to come and take a part in, I'm sure I love the research aspect, mm -hmm. which you can also speak of. Uh, you have a bit uh, like two minutes each mm -hmm. uh, for that. So let me read the feedback as I come back. Uh, Pale online, KUTV Kenya, we're streaming KUTV station on Facebook, KUTV Kenya live on YouTube, and then you can tag me and the station as well on social platforms. Kampoke, Kampoke, I'm asema watching live from K and H. I hope you are not a patient and you are providing treatment at KNH, uh, but uh, thank you for tuning in from KNH. Uh, to Dani Wote. To Kondani, Rosa, Vamos, Ashire, Nisolite, Anasema. America Fire Emoji, Stan Apo. Shout out to Ashire on set. Isaac Ogutu, shout out to Brian Omondi, the young, brilliant mind and great pharmaceutical researcher. As medical lab, as medical lab technologist with ardent interest in mitigation of AMR, I encourage such talks. Big up or Kenya. Thank you, Isaac Ogutu, for tuning in there. And uh, I know this is a conversation you've enjoyed if you're a, a medical lab technologist. Samuel Juma, Bigman Bazu, Ashire, and Omondi, shout out to you guys. That's from Samuel Juma. I'm going to pick a shout out. Nijulisha TV, live from KMKU, Huyomsewa, Baltimore. Niko mwambie niko KM na inao. Um Dominic watching us all the way from Baltimore. Uh to me I want to is a cabbage. Mwambie uh, wa paste, weke za cabbage. Ana inao huko KM. So idea of course. Thank you for the feedback. Uh, continue sending it we will read it after of course we close this conversation. Um yes, let's begin here. What yeah, so to close the conversation, yes. uh, Sante Sana, thank you for having us here. So uh, the long-term effect, yeah, the misuse of antibiotics and uh, antimicrobial resistance. Ni we'll have, when you mention, a uh, very long-term treatment. Yeah, yeah, the uh, diseases in these uh, these parasites, fungi, and viruses. Uh, and uh, statistics always uh, we always go back to statistics so it is projected by that by 2050 in case we don't have a uh, new antimicrobial regimens to neza kuana untreatable conditions so it neza lead to a lot of loss of lives uh, when we go back to the dark age of medicine when you had to kuana any antibiotics prior to the discovery of uh, alexander fleming uh, a very pressing factor and it's a global issue that needs to be addressed and we can do all this through a one health approach uh, to collaborate 
uh, between the environment uh, people, uh, the healthcare professionals, and the animal sector. Ndiyo tuweze kumitigate antimicrobial resistance. So my parting shot, uh, ni amoxicillin si peremende. Uh, thank you so much. Mm. Yeah. 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 So, uh, Back to me. Uh, I'll start by saying, but me, uh, I'm positive. This is something that we can actually overcome. Yeah, if we just uh, try to come together and uh, work things through by just doing what we are required to do, this is something to nezafanya. So, uh, some of the new technologies that have been discovered to help uh, mitigate the spread of AMR, as I said before, ni your uh, uh, nanotechnology. So, nanotechnology ni siji kama ushe sikia these uh, micro robots mm. ya yeah, kitu kama hiyo uh, uh, zimengia then zimenda yes. sasa kwa the specific, specific target yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. so hizo zineza tumika to help treat the resistant strains and then another thing ni yonye nisema bacterial phages yeah, so tuneza itumia hiyo pia ku jaribu ku treat the resistant uh, uh, bacterial infection and then another thing ni our pharmaceutical companies pia bado ziko on their way doing research they are still actively doing research the problem ni research venya shira lisema ina take a lot of time and also ina take uh, a lot of money yeah so uh, our pharmaceutical companies they are still doing research mm-hmm. now for us what we should do we should try create awareness have new shapata information make sure na nambia your friends and relatives pia yeah, to use the few drugs and to nazo to zitumi vizuri to sifika a position and uh, we have the disease and we can't treat it right. yeah because you don't have the right drugs yeah so now at KUIPRC first of all let me start by talking about solving resistance uh, you can also follow them on their social sol- solving resistance iko pale instagram uh, so this uh, organization in uh, in a jaribu in a in a f- uh, work actively to try and mitigate the spread of AMR and then kwa KUIPRC, this is a research based organization it's a club in Kenyatta University and uh, our patron is Dr Makanga i know she's watching yeah so at KUIPRC, we are just trying to uh, cultivate the culture of research in pharmacy students ukiangalia research ni one of the fields and uh, as pharmacists we are expected to do research but normally what's happening in Kenya ama all over the world ni pharmacists they don't top tap into this opportunity and this is uh, we also will also be creating jobs by research these yeah, are yeah. lucrative <coughs> opportunity for pharmacists and uh, also other people who are interested in such and at KUIPRC we are open to collaborations uh, if you have a research project and you need pharmacists to take a look at it yeah. we are open and we are free you can just contact us you can also follow us in our socials at KUIPRC LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, Instagram, KUIPSC Zote. Yeah, we are just trying to uh, bring the research aspect now to the students. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are facilitating students to do research. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you can publish their articles. Mapema. Right. Yeah, you don't have to do master's or a degree in research. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Well, I think research is a master's. Too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, m- so maybe my parting shots. Yeah. Yeah, so what I can say ni we cannot stop the spread of AMR. What you can do, you can just slow the progression. Ama we can make it go yeah, slowly. Yeah, so everyone has a role. So through the One Health approach, we can just come together, take up our roles, and um, just help uh, stop the spread. We don't want to get into a case where we have the infection, we have the diseases, but we cannot treat them because of Tuna Mandawa. Yeah, so your information kidogo nyi pia uko nayo just share to your friends share to your neighbors make sure you are keeping clean make sure unamaliza dose make sure your amoxil acha kutumia for oma amoxil si ya homa yeah all right educate